Welcome back to GDPG. How's it going, guys? And we are... We're back in Perny Island. Exactly where we need to be. Per Wait, what did you... Oh, Perny Island. Perny Island. Island. It sounds... Whoa. Oh. Um... I don't think I discovered this guy last like time. It's like a tree... Or a face in a tree. What's his name? Boyer? Bjor. Bjor. What does he do? Oh. What does he do? Oh. oh. Uh, Ew. Uh, a mortal. Where am I? Why am I? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I remember. I was created to guard a core file. But this is not a core file. Asmodeus. He took my seat as guardian. Mortal. If you find Asmodeus in your travels, tell him my name. Oh shit. Bjor. Oh shit. And he will know I am still out here. Oh shit. And he will know vengeance approaches. Oh shit. Accept this as payment. That's so fucking cool. That's. Huh. Oh, and I get a ticket for it. But I actually know what the, the fight with Asmodeus is like. Oh. So I'm really curious to see what that Have you does. Not, did you not encounter that? No, I haven't really? seen that before. Oh. I just missed it last time, I that guess. That drastically changes everything. everything. Well, it changes the battle. I'm really curious to see what it does, though. Yeah. If I just, like, win it. You made it the final level of adventure mode. I wanted to have more of a build-up, but you're here, so we might as well do this. The final boss is me, of course. If you lose, your soul is mine. Smiley. Yeah, we'll see about that, sucker! The torch. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Oh. I've done it. I've done it. Take this Take portal this to the core file. Coward. <laughs> Feels above. Up. Ooh. Oh. This Lord. was what? Oh. What? Yep. What? Yep. This looks crazy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, and you're dead. Well, your soul's dead. That's it. You're just yeah. a husk. That's one of the the less. No, uh, let me. Sh okay, there we go. That's one of the less um, satisfying things about this game is that if you fail, even in scenarios like this, it um, just restarts. It you. just restarts, and it's like the consequence was seemingly going to be our soul, right? Shoot, shoot, shoot up. Oh. Well, remember if if we lost to what well, is this the final boss that this is from before? This is Beelzebub. Oh, Beelzebub, Beelzebub. Oh, yeah, that's true. Beelzebub. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on, come on. Ah, there we go. All right, good. I so, love the art for this. Oh, it's fantastic. I think this looks really cool. The key to this guy really is to take out his, his lower jaw, because at this point, now we have way less distractions going on. Right. Because we don't have to jump over an obstacle. And That's obviously, fair. we're not going to get punched in the face. I think that punch <laughs> when I first played this was oh. really what uh, killed me most of the time. Boom. Take that. I think one of the crowning things for this game is the art. Oh, absolutely. In my opinion, this is fantastic. <laughs> well played. You are a true warrior. Now click this shortcut. <laughs> Let's take down this core file. Take down this core file. I always feel like there's going to be something hidden in the environment. And as soon as I click it, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> uh, yes. No. You. you are being led astray. Can't you see that? destroying this these files will prevent you from playing Pony Island <laughs> what but destroying the file is the only way to advance the plot <laughs> yeah. what are you ta oh oh shit <laughs> It's like the um you, you have to I think you have to click the file. I don't have a cursor. I don't think. Oh, uh, apparently I do. Well. Oh shit. Security, Security breach. breach. Fool, fool, fool. Sleep well. 
Um, yeah, toxic gas, maybe? I don't really know. How are we playing this? Like, what's the idea? We're at, like sitting at a computer, or I, is this a booth? I think we're at an arcade cabinet. Okay. Oh. I, yeah, we kind of see that here. I think. Maybe. Whoa. Yeah, this game is really crazy because it kind of merges that, like, Whoa. 3D environment with, like, arcade cabinet. So, yeah, that's that's the, the, the taste of that. That's kinda, pretty crazy. Kind of weird, right? <laughs> Heck yeah. I was getting to my tiki. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there are secret endings, though, I think, if you get all the tickets. So, if people huh. really want... So, we're probably not... I, I, we probably already missed at least, like, five tickets. Yeah, probably. Um, but if people really want, we could go through and get the rest of the tickets and go through another playthrough. If Howdy, really friend! <laughs> My name's Louie! And this here is called Pony Island. You will play as a beautiful pony, frolicking and leaping over gates. But enough talk. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Aw, it's like the Super Nintendo days. Here are some gates. Click the left house button, left mouse house button, to jump. <laughs> left house button. Yay! Yay! Your pony broke his neck. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. What? So, okay. Hold down the right mouse button to blow a gust of air. Whee! You'll need it to blow away butterflies. Get out of here, butterflies. To stop them from tickling you. Oh my god. So, this is amazing. So what do you think about this, though? Because it's basically running through all the basic mechanics that we've already been introduced with. And it's like, the facade is that it's a tutorial, right? But right. obviously, like, really the presentation of this is to kind of give us that, like, surreal feeling. Right. Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? Uh-oh. You didn't even let me explain that one. Uh, it's okay. That's... The part that I don't think you could really hear is that the music totally stopped when when that happened. Oh. So it's kind of like a. Uh, what did you just? What did you just do? I am curious though. That's another one of those things where it's like, what happens if I did hit the gates? Yeah. It's a lot of a uh, lot of like replayability in this game. Yeah. I think, to like. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. What? For some reason, I thought your wings were always visible, but then they... they never mind. No. Cujo, dumb brain. Moment. Cujo brain. Cujo brain. Oh. But yeah, I, I think there's a lot of replayability in this game because there's a lot of secrets. Huh. Um. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Looks like it's time for a... Puzzle, puzzle break. break. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, this is cool. We've got ourselves a puzzle. The goal is to get this butterfly over to its home. Boom. Did it. Those purple signs are tricky. If your butterfly reaches one, It'll fly to the other. Come here. I love this. I think this is so clever. Right? It's it's and they start introducing new mechanics mm. um, at a certain point too. Um, but it is really interesting because it it is totally different than uh, or it's like I don't know, kind of adding to that like surrealistic like what the heck is going on kind of deal oh right you might need this Whoa, speak what? of the devil yep watch this check this shit out <laughs> what oh yeah my, my brain just yelled at me <laughs> which butterfly gets to the home just get someone home. Don't matter who. Anyone, anyone, anywhere. Bam. Oh, it splits again. 
Oh, you yeah. just need to get one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Yep. Cool. Like he said. Exactly like he said, Cujo. So I guess really my question to you is, do you feel like um, it's, I don't know, redundant, I guess, to like kind of use the same mechanics over like this with just an aesthetic change? Well, um, what is you know what I think? Is, oh. I think that's perfect question of the day oh, material. Oh, man. Because we are redundant. hitting towards the end of this episode. Personally, I don't think it's redundant. I think it's still introducing new elements. It might not be gameplay-wise, but it certainly is narrative-wise. Some, there's something drastically different about what we're doing here. Only this time, the game is... Like, when you were doing this before with the hacking, it felt it felt like you were, like, hacking a game. It felt like it was wrong. Like, you weren't supposed to be doing this. Mm. The system was mad at you for doing this. Now, all of a sudden, it's a mechanic. And the graphics are crazy. Like, the graphics got crazy updated. Like, it, it, I guess the question is, how long were you unconscious before you started playing this game again? Ooh. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, because it is like a total system reboot. Yep. I don't really know why I didn't consider that, but yeah, that is that is yeah. a, a good point. Uh, question of the day for you guys. It's actually going to be the same question. I, yeah, yeah, says. yeah. Um, do you guys feel that having uh, the same mechanics introduced in such a way is redundant, or do you think... Uh, how do you feel about them being reintroduced with this sort of new aesthetic uh, and with this drastic change in look and feel for the game? Yeah. There you go. And check this. Boom! I did it. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Wow! You're ri- <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.